my long term project in life is to to put together my work in the way I'm seeing the world uh, of presenting a visual lexicon that's mine a way of seeing if you may initially I showed that work it was called between me and I it was my long term work on color it's still going on hopefully it'll be one of the epi the color epitaph of my work and there's another black and white work that I'm doing roughly called in a hurry to nowhere just now that's just a working title which is again a, my journey as a photographer just putting together life as the way i see it not necessarily looking for larger meanings it's been like news documentary advertising and personal work so many, multiple genres maybe this whole multi genre approach in photography that even dad later on last turn 10 years was doing corporate work and fashion work with equal aplomb you know so i think that is something when i analyze now my life of 30 years of photography i said maybe you know what it was something that is we can we can hold up as the parak flag you know that uh, <laughs> that we dabbled in all kinds of photography and and did pretty all right in all the all the genres i always hide behind this one beautiful comforting line by eggleston you know and it says that you know that the problem about photography and words and then there is a long pause they have nothing to do with each other as so i said you know that's a line i could live with uh, there are images which i don't think you can easily decode you know and say okay this image that sapan parekh has shot is about this it's definitely about his way of seeing but if you just say that okay make it in an object and tell me what you think about this i mean i think i'll be foolish because that's not my intent the internet and social media is great to share but as a medium as as a person who's seen beautiful tangibility of photography to me as a photographer i could never let that go and tangibility whether it's a print or it's a it's a book i mean it's it's something would stay after you're gone what's your legacy otherwise you're just talking of ones and zeros is what what your legacy is whenever i'm i'm talking about photography or doing a workshop it's the first thing i'm i tell people you know i mean you made love i mean making love to a computer screen versus touching someone it's a huge difference it's the same you need the physical aspects of photography are so important because that will really show you where you are what a good print is what a great how a great book looks and you know it it just somehow formalizes what you've done and shows you even though you may not want to be called a craftsman that it's a medium which also requires a great craft craft has taken such a big back seat just because of the whole you know holding the reins by people who are really not photographers themselves they say ah you know what use this app do that it's all fine use it to your advantage but at least take photography forward from where it's come you know use you need to a good print is still a good print i honestly honestly enjoy a pure visuality of the medium and that's what i was in for and that's why probably i did not want to continue in photojournalism because i said i don't want to pretend to be a concerned photographer my only concern is a good image what matters to me visually you know so there's always people who are trying to be pretentious and saying oh this is our larger cause this is what we are doing and you know this whole thing about cliches in photography or photograph is worth more than a thousand words and i say it's just turned around now it's become like a thousand i mean it's thousand words worth more than a picture it's become you know because it's this endless contextualization going and then you see the image and i say you know i'm a, do i call myself a photographer when i see this so i think that just tables are being reversed and somehow somewhere i'm think have we losing the experience of photography just because we need to push it into a space where we are told that make something rare then you'll be considered an artist when i'm doing my work i really don't look at this angle of how do i make it sound larger than what my sole purpose of it really just enjoying creating a photograph it however simplistic it sounds but i'd be lying if i say something else so these sociological angles and these angles where how it's affecting our culture and this and it's honestly i don't think i am part of that india right i am a photographer who happens to be indian a lot of my work has been shot abroad i don't title it so probably people won't know so to me it's obviously the whole world is 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 i'm a world citizen as far as my photography is concerned